All right, guys, this is your homework for week 22. Okay, you're going to be practicing math uh, fractions. Okay, it says use the models to compare, uh, and then use this is greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay. So, for example, here's one fourth. Okay. And then here's one sixth. Okay. So is one fourth greater than one sixth or less than or equal to? So here's a fourth, and then here's a sixth. So you notice that fourth is a it's further closer to 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 one. Okay, so one fourth is actually greater than one sixth. Number three, here's you have seven over seven or seven eighths, and here's six eighths. When my denominators are the same. I'm just looking at the numbers at the top. So is seven greater than less than or equal to six? Okay, is actually greater than. Go and use uh this is two fourths right here. So roughly about right here, like this. Okay. So look where my line is. Is two fourths less than greater than or equal to four eighths? And here's Four eighths, and here's six fourths. So what's greater? Four eighths or six or four sixths? And then six, seven, and eight. Uh, use the number line. So you circle all the fractions on the number line that are greater than five eighths. So here's here's five eighths. All the fractions that are greater than five eighths are this way. So it would be six, seven, eight, and obviously one because one is eight over eight. So yeah, it says this, this is draw a box around all the fractions that are on the line that are less than three eighths. Here's three eighths. Anything to the left is less than three eighths. And it sort of says for you to draw a box around them, around each one of them. And then the last one. It says write the fraction on the number line that is greater greater than three eighths but less than five eighths. So here's three eighths. It has to be greater than this. So over here, it has to be less than this. Oh, but the one that's right in the middle. Do that one. And then on the other side, you have to shade in. Oh, how many parts are there? There's three equal parts. What's the unit fraction just for one of these? Equal parts is how many are all together. Okay, the unit fraction is just one of these. And so forth and so on. Uh, write the point that represents uh, the fraction six eighths. If this is four eighths right here, which letter would would be uh, six eighths. Okay. Obviously, to get to four eighths, I need two more. So, what letter would that be? How many fourths? Uh, if I have this, this model is for this shape. Okay. And then this model is for this fraction. Sorry. So this fraction right here represents this model. That would give you how many are shaded in out of how many total. Okay. The top is two fourths. What's the fraction of this right here? How many eighths do you have? And then for each whole number, uh, right as a fraction. Well, we didn't really didn't discuss that yet. Okay, the fraction for a whole number is you take the, the number, put it here, and it's always under 1. So all of these are going to be, your denominator is going to be 1. Okay, and then use the number line. Lastly, use the number line. Use the number line at the bottom for 16 and 17. You're using greater than, less than, or equal to. And it goes here on the inside. 
And then for your reading, just read the text about what happens when it rains, and then answer the questions. Okay. And I answer the questions there. There's nine total. And then answer this question with some support from the text. How can erosion change the landscape over time? Okay. The text tells you what erosion is. If I go back to the text, let's see, find erosion. Here it is, look. Oh, right here. Erosion is when rocks and soil of the Earth's surface are moved to other locations after having been broken into smaller and smaller pieces by the wind or water flow. That's what erosion is. So then your question says, okay, how can erosion change the landscape over time? Your complete sentences. <laughs>